What's going on everybody? Shane here. Yesterday I meandered my way into one Best Buy and I purchased something that I didn't fully intend to purchase. But I did purchase anyways. It's a little thing called the HP Chromebook X2. Now Something you may not know about me is that I have been a fan of Chromebooks for many a year. I bought a, a Samsung Chromebook way back when. We're talking before touchscreens were prevalent on Chromebooks. And I, I thought it was really cool, really fast, great battery life. Um, and since all I did was browse the web really on it, it was perfect for that. It was super lightweight, really portable, awesome battery life. Great, great little device. Sometime later, I bought the Asus Chromebook Flip. Now, this is the first gen one. Like it's like a little 10 inch screen. This has a touch screen. It's convertible, folded all the way up. Pretty cool device as well. Now, then, sometime after that, they released an update that made Android apps compatible with Chrome OS. Now, this is a huge deal because this takes Chromebooks from being a little web browser device to being something that you can do almost anything with and since I'm an Android guy I was like man this is amazing so I had said quite some time ago to my wife you know Jesse it would be great if somebody made a Chromebook that was in line with the Microsoft Surface tablets a convertible sort of thing now that you can run Android apps on how cool would it be to have something like a Surface book well that is where this guy comes in the HP Chromebook X2. It has a lot of very Surface Book-esque features. So obviously this is a seems like a pretty standard laptop. Sure, you've got a stylus here, which by the way comes with it. Pretty cool. You've got a really nice screen. Re really good high resolution screen. And it's a weird aspect ratio. It's full HD, but it's not 1028 by... it's not 1920 by 1080. Wow, I had a massive brain fart there. Because it's it's not 16 by 9, it's 4 by 3. So it's a taller aspect ratio, which is weird but kind of cool. But what makes this thing really interesting and different from other Chromebooks is the fact that you have a detachable screen. It's magnetic. And now you have a tablet. A full a full-on tablet and it is it feels good. It's very sturdy. It's it's this might be aluminum quite sturdy you've got USB type C on either side for charging on either side which is quite cool you have a, a, a micro SD card slot just a lot to like here there's a lot of really interesting things to like about this about the HP Chromebook X2 so I'm gonna make probably a few videos kinda of running over some things about this about this uh, convertible but the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little game called PUBG Mobile on that device because why not, right? Why not? So humor me. I'm going to have to switch cameras and so forth to do this properly. And unfortunately, I don't win. I know. What a loser. It's And I'll, I'll freely admit, it's not as good on this as it is on a phone. It's not nearly as easy to control. I have some issues here and there. I tweak some things here and there, trying to get it to work better. Um, I do have some success. I'm not terrible. But, uh, no, I don't win, so don't get your hopes up. I usually do win on my phone, so I, you know, I'll caveat it that way. But without further ado, here is the footage of, uh, of that. PUBG Mobile on the HP Chromebook X2. Please do enjoy. All right, I'm going to attempt to play through a round here of PUBG Mobile on my HP Chromebook X2. This is the best way I could come up with to uh, to record it because, um, well, just it's not it's not all that easy a thing to do. I'm gonna turn off that mic there, get rid of that glare. Um, I tried a, a screen recording software and it, it caused the whole system to lock up and it was lagging quite badly loading into the menu anyways. Um, so this is kind of the best the best option I think I've got is just to try and film the screen. And then of course I have to be able to get to both sides of the screen, hence the somewhat odd angle that you are at. And hopefully this is going to be relatively clear. This is for best experience to be paired with other players using mouse and keyboard 
which is bullshit because I'm not going to be using mouse and keyboard. I'm going to be using the touchscreen. But nevertheless, um, here we are. I'll show you if you can see them. Um, I've got it just set to smooth. Um, you could go up to balanced. You can't go any higher than that. But I've got it set to smooth and I've got my color set to realistic. That just seems to be the best option for me. Controls, I've modified a little bit because you're dealing with a very large screen. And that is kind of problematic for aiming. I naturally want to have my thumbs down here um, to be moving around and aiming around. But that doesn't leave you a lot of room. So I, I almost wonder if maybe I need to speed up the, uh, the look speed to make it work a little bit better. I'm going to be honest, I thought this would perform better than it actually does. It's not bad, don't get me wrong, like it's not, I've seen worse, but it's not, it's not great either, and I think maybe if I, let's do some experimenting here, maybe if I, if I increased the, the third person camera sensitivity, let's try like 110. And see what that does. Camera ADS sensitivity. Okay, whatever. Let's try that. Okay, that's a little bit better. That would allow me to kind of be in this area. Not too bad. One great thing about this tablet, I mean, the screen is a it's a great screen. It's the same screen that's in the Pixel Book, and it's a really solid panel. But another great thing are the speakers. You can't probably see them, but there are two front-firing speakers on either side here. And they genuinely do sound surprisingly good. Now, I'm not going to have them cranked like that because you're not going to be able to hear anything. But um, but they do sound quite good. I'm going to go to these green-roofed buildings down here. Um, I have noticed a little bit of weird lag when I'm scoped in in trying to make that initial movement that initial adjustment to aim like you go to you go to aim and it doesn't quite like it doesn't move and then it does it sort of snaps and it, it was causing me to have some pretty consistent uh over aiming when i was trying to ads against uh, some people the last time i played so that was a little bit frustrating we'll see what happens this time Another kind of weird quirk is that the left side of the device over here seems to be where the CPU is or something because that side gets warm, this side does not get warm. So there's definitely something going on on that left side. Like I said, it's not going to pick up in the... Uh, oh, the building's disappeared. There they are. It's not going to pick up in the video, but the separation you get here, left and right speakers, is actually quite impressive. It's 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 pretty good. Using a little bit of rocking back and forth to get a little bit further. Probably actually went a little too far. All right, I'm on the ground. Now keep in mind, hey, there's some pants. Good, 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 good. Pants are good. Keep in mind, uh, you know, like I've said before, this game is not my favorite game in the world. I think I may still need to increase that look speed a little bit. Um, it's all right. It, it's, yeah, definitely need to increase that look speed a little bit more. Let's go, let's go up to 120. See what that does. Okay. It's a little bit better. Oh. Might need to move the uh, ADS up a little bit higher. Am I even changing the right thing? I don't know. You would think. You would think the third person camera. Oh, this is for free look. I'm retarded. I'm sorry. Let's put that back down to 100. Third person, no scope. Let's bring that up to 115. That's that good old placebo effect, huh? You think you're doing something and you're not. Now I'm now I'm questioning myself. Is this better, or am I just, or am I just getting the placebo effect and thinking that it's better? Who knows? Who knows? 
go ahead and jump out the window here. What was I saying? I was saying that this is not one of my favorite games. As far as a mobile game, it's okay. And I will say this, it's much better on a phone, as crazy as that might sound, than it is on uh, on this tablet. Simply, I, I feel simply because it wasn't really designed to be... What is this? What the hell kind of gun is that? Will it tell me? Wait. It's an SLR. Okay, it just looks weird. Interesting. I might be able to do some damage with this. It was designed, though, initially with phones in mind so that the tablet just... It's too big. I mean, oh, goodness. Who the fuck? I'm reloading now for some reason. Yeah, get get some. Get some Irish blood. It's just, um, yeah, the screen is just so large that it, it definitely is difficult to, we're going to, horse mask. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, get rid of that. I mean, you have to really, like, reach around to, to do anything. Did I put on a busted-ass helmet from that guy? I did. Whatever. That's fine. I don't really care. There we go. A non-busted-ass helmet. I'll probably also drop that shit because I'm not going to use it. And the, uh, the left side of the screen is definitely warming on up considerably. One thing I've discovered about this game is that if you just get on a vehicle of some sort, that's kind of god mode. It's hard to be stopped. I'm not really getting that stutter I was I was saying I was getting the other day either, so that seems to be a little bit better. I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't crank it up just a shade more. That's starting to feel a little bit better. That sprint icon, I need to bring that down. I need to bring that down to like there. That's too far of a reach. On a, on a phone, that's totally fine. On a screen that's this large, it's way, way too, way too far to have to reach. I don't think anyone's been here yet. better backpack. I almost I feel like for the sake of entertainment though, I feel like I need to just go get up into some stuff. See, and that's stupid. Why why would it put the six time scope on the scar when I have an SLR? I don't know. I'm not really going to do much looting. I think I'm really just going to just kind of run through. Let's get rid of my marker. Just for the, just for the, you know, the sake of showing you, here is the next step up graphically. We'll see if we get any sort of performance hitches from it. I mean, I'll tell you this much: it looks considerably better on my um, on my my phone. I use a uh, 
LG V30, and uh, my wife has a Pixel 2 XL either phone. Either phone, it will max out the settings. And that's definitely better than what I'm getting here. kind of like to encounter some more people. That sprint, auto sprint option is a, a real lifesaver, isn't it? I do quite like the uh, auto loot function. That is quite cool. It seems to generally just know what you need and just grab appropriate items. That's pretty cool. I'm definitely getting some extra latency and movement and so forth that I was not getting before. So I think for the sake of For the sake of performance, I'm going to lower that back down. Left side of the, the tablet, if that's what you want to call it, definitely getting a little warm. I mean, honestly, maybe we should stay. Maybe we should stay down here. This is pretty central. I'm going to go get in this tower. That's what I'm going to do. figure most people probably dropped south of this tower. I got good good vantage point looking down on them. That's the jump button. Let's see if we see anybody approaching. One thing that I find pretty funny about this game is that even if you're at this sort of distance you can 100% see people that are down there. They look incredibly obvious when you see them. The grass doesn't render anywhere near anywhere near that far. I mean, it looks like it's stopping in that area. I can't tell you how often I've had I've shot at people at decent range like this only to have them go prone or something thinking that they're hidden when all they've done is make themselves exceedingly obvious. Okay, we got somebody. See? He lays down thinking he's covered and he's he's really not. You're really not you're not covered when you do that. You're 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 really really visible. Now, granted, he would have been better off maybe if he crawled to that hill. Cuz I couldn't really see and there's another one. I got to wonder if this is if this is the AI or what. Because it it just seems like such a stupid thing to do. Another thing you may have noticed there is that the frame rate of the animations at that distance seems to drop to like 5. It's just pitifully, pitifully low. Uh-oh. Huh. Okay.
Okay. Alright. A little confusing. Not entirely sure what he was doing. You've got garbage. Absolutely. Oh, hey, there's a guy. Kind of just standing there, huh? Yeah, go ahead and lay down. You're safe now. Can can anyone tell me is is that the AI? Like, is that is that just a bot? Because it seems like such a stupid thing to do. You're just more visible. Like, you should turn around and return fire. Worst case scenario. Go find cover. Go run to a tree. Like, anything. Like, why? Why would you just go prone? I do not understand. At all. Okay, I'm going to have to move that as well. Because I, I, I continue to hit the scope in button while I'm trying to look around. I need to, I need to raise that up maybe closer to there. Probably be a good... Hell yeah. Thanks for your shit. How are we looking here? Okay. Alright, let's fly south for the winter. I guess there is something I haven't really shown you that I, I presumably should. And that is, that's funny. You can see the box. You cannot see the box. Let's show you how how this works. Now, this is another one of these things that, you know, the size of the screen is a little problematic. Try, I'll try and I'll try and do it in a way that isn't going to totally block view of the screen. Kind of wondering where. Oh. Hey. I was going to say, I'm kind of wondering where, the, where people are, because usually I can cruise around like this and... Okay, there's somebody getting play zoned. Does this feel like trolling? Does this seem like trolling? I think it kind of does. Like, I always feel a little... A little bit guilty doing this. Because it's too easy. But at the same time, I kind of did want to... Show you... I wanted to show you how well it works. Heard some gunfire over there. I reckon these buildings have not been hit. No, they don't seem to have. 
It's about what, the 15th time I've done that? I got killed. Well done. Well done there, uh, whoever the fuck just killed me. So I hope you guys found that entertaining. I hope you enjoyed my uh, premature death there. I did make it into the top 20, right? So I hope you did enjoy that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What other apps, games should I test on this device? Send me some requests. I'll throw them on there. I'll give it, I'll give it a shot and let you know how they turn out. So until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.